Andrea here. And the other Andrea, howdy. Woo -woo. I am going to be, this is our big, welcome to the big happy planner plan with me. <laughs> We're all over the place today. Yes. <laughs> so, any woohoo, any woohoo. Any woohoo. <laughs> These are the stickers I'm going to be using. I downloaded these from myplannerenvy.com. They're and free stickers. Yeah, they're free. And this is the second sheet. Got all these little goodies down here. She gyro cut them. Yeah. She had field day. I did. I did a good job, I think. I think so, too. And then, of course, I'm going to be using the uh, big boxes. And this is also from myplannerenvy.com. So, I've got lots of big boxes to go with this. Do you like big boxes and you cannot lie? I like big boxes and you cannot lie. It's hard to say because of boxes. It's mm -hmm. all clunky. <laughs> it's a clunky word. Is it? Boxes. I'm going to go with this one because it's got the blue in it that kind of matches this blue here mm -hmm. on our, where it says July. I'm going to cover up the calendar. Because we know what month it is. Yeah. And I want, to, I want to decorate that. Yeah. So, all right. Then I will use... It's not June. This box. No, it's July. Yeah. <laughs> Because June the 4th just happened. <laughs> um, I like when people say, May the 4th be with you. Yeah. <laughs> During May. That's cute. That is cute. It's been around for a little bit now. Yeah. You play, What's funny is it wasn't around when the first movies came out. No. Mm -mm. It's like, why not? Yeah. Nobody somebody, thought of it. Somebody wasn't clever until the 2000s, yeah. the late 2000s. Yeah, basically. That's, that's really sad. Yeah. <laughs> it makes you think. <laughs> makes me think. Yeah. May the fourth be with you. Too bad. Too bad it's not the fourth. Yeah. It's nowhere near the fourth anymore. It's like the, the something. Today's the something. Hmm. What, the 21st? Today's 22nd. Oh, I was a day off. Hey, I was closer than what I was going to say, which was the 19th. Yeah. Today is the day this video actually goes up. Gotcha. Well, hello there in now land. Now land. Instead of future land. Future land. She's just going to repeat what I said. <laughs> so I got uh, two new bracelets. Mm -hmm. I knew you kept them all put in. And this is what they are. Show them, Vanna. Woo do 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 do. Do, do, do. They're Technobond. Yeah, these are Technobond bracelets from HSN. Then I got this one here. Also from HSN. Also Technobond. Yeah. Very I pretty. Love it. Fifty percent off because they were having a sale. Yeah. So fifty percent off, and you know, if you are a Technobond lover like me, you know, fifty percent off is astronomical, and. If you were like me, you ran and you got your 50% off too. <laughs> I have uh, Technobon earrings and necklaces and they are such fantastic quality. So if you're looking for a cheaper way to wear 18 karat gold, Technobon is the best way to do it. It is um, 18 karat gold with um, sterling silver and Technobond is actually the way that they bond the silver to the gold so <clears throat> I don't know that the process yeah so I, look, Google Google is your friend yeah <laughs> if you want to learn the process of Technobond yeah I don't 
I just think it's pretty. Yeah, I love it. I wish so. they had a reverse. Sterling silver of over 18 karat gold. I'm like, that's probably white gold. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They would do that. But it's, um. It's not techno bonding. No, they have it. Oh, they do? Yeah. They oh. have, yeah, it's 18 karat um, white gold over sterling silver. Okay. Or techno bonded to sterling silver. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, that's. That's great. That means I didn't uh, gyro cut the top, which is wonderful for it to rip off like that on camera. <laughs> but y'all know me. <laughs> we don't call you the clumsy crafter for nothing. This is true. Y'all know me. I do not care if I mess up this a little bit <laughs> on video. That's just a part of life. Yeah. Cute. catch it up before tomorrow and I have to catch up on the stain before tomorrow. I can't believe you didn't watch it. Well, um, I'll just say this much. Okay. Because there are other people out there who are like us who love the Game of Thrones and watch it on the day it plays. I wasn't here. And, uh, anywho, the very beginning Oh, no is the most awesome, awesome, awesome beginning ever, ever, ever. It, it did not even end as good as it began. Oh, wow. So they started with high momentum and then ended with low momentum. They just started with uh, whatever they started with. And uh, I don't know about no, what's like, low or not. No, like it started awesomely and it ended eh. Yeah. Kinda, yeah. kinda just like that, because the beginning, at first I was all like, what the what? Are they replaying uh, from the last one we saw? Mm -hmm. And uh, and then it was like few, a few seconds in, and I was all like, and I knew who it was before, uh, Grandma. Grandma was all like, because I, I had yelled at her, it's blah, blah, blah. And she's all, what? it's blah, blah, blah. I said, yeah, it's blah, blah, blah. And she's like, that's blah, blah, blah. Don't y'all just hate the fact I didn't see the episode? <laughs> Sorry. But at least there's no spoilers. <laughs> oh, you just, oh. Uh, I, I ruined it for everybody. Yeah. There's no spoilers. Yeah. You. I have a lot to watch. So, anyway. Because uh, Grandma won't let me not watch the last Doctor Who episode where Peter Capaldi transforms into the new Doctor. Oh, and that's a female Doctor, isn't it? That's the big what to dow is the fact that she's female. Wow. The Doctor is a female now. You know who would have made a good female Doctor Who? Who? His wife. Remember who Doctor Who married? Oh, River. Yeah. River Song. Yeah. Yeah, but she died. I, I'm just saying she would have made a good Doctor Who. She would have made an awesome Doctor. Yeah. She's dead. <laughs> That's messed up. It is messed up. They killed her off. They gave her a good, a good farewell episode, though. Like, bye-bye. No, like, he took her to 
this place where there were singing caves or singing cowlands or something. Mm -hmm. The alien planet, of course. And um, that night lasted 24 years. Whoa. So he gave her 24 years. Another 24 years before she had to go do what she had to do, which was back in the library with David Tennant's doctor. Mm -hmm. Remember mm -hmm. that episode? Yeah. That's where she died. Oh. But uh, in that ep original episode, she didn't die. He put her in the computer. Right. Yeah. So she's not dead. She's in the computer. You, okay. But she did her body vaporized. So she did die. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. That's so sad. It's very sad, especially when you connect all the pieces and all the old, the old episode, which was her first episode, its last last episode, right. with the latest ones. It's like, oh God, that's so depressing. It's so sad. Yeah. <laughs> Poor River. River went through hell and back for that man. Yes, she did. But. You went through a lot for her too. With Amy and Rory, her parents. Yeah. He lost them because they got taken by the Weeping Angels, which is such a messed up character. But so good at being so evil. It's just statues, but they're creepy as frick. Well, that first Weeping a Angels uh, episode, episode, holy moly. That actually scared me yeah. a little bit. I was scared there. We couldn't look at statues for like a week. No. I didn't want to go near statues. There was no reason to be near a statue. <laughs> <laughs> there is still no reason to be near a statue. No. Uh -uh. Uh, especially one that big. Yeah. That looks like that. But they were like, wasn't it the episode called Don't Blink? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's Don't blink. Blink and you're dead. Yeah. I can't remember the rest of his monologue because he. And then he says good luck and then he blinks. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh my god, you blinked! You blinked! <laughs> <laughs> but it's so cool because it starts with his warning to the girl. Yeah. And it ends with his warning to the girl. Yeah. And it's like, oh, that's so neat. It was so backwards and forwards, just like the whole show. Like mm. River Song. Her story was way backwards and forwards. Yeah. That's pretty. It's cute, huh? Yeah. But I don't have one to match the black. I see that. Yeah. I guess I could make it um, orange yeah. <laughs> or brown. Uh, this is dark brown. Do the green. This one here? Yeah, because it, it matches, it goes with the blue better than brown. Okay. But yeah. So, I caught up on one episode of Doctor Who, which is where Bill, spoiler alert, if you haven't, if you're a Doctor Who fan, um, Bill was the first Cyberman. The first Cyberman? So, first Cyberman. She was created by the Master, aka Missy, uh -huh. the female that was locked in the vault. Wow. You haven't been watching Doctor Who, have you? No, I don't. Yeah. Not anymore. Not since David Tennant left. No, after David Tennant, I was done. Yeah. You were like, well, if he's done with the show, so am I. Yeah. Kinda. That was her of. doctor. Yeah, that was my favorite doctor. He was so funny. Yes. And such a great actor. David Tennant is awesome. Yeah. And his, his, uh, the, 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 his new show, Broadchurch, is on its last season this year. Really? Yeah. Dang. That was like one season, wasn't it? Three. Wow, that's awful. Yeah, but they said, and it's a sexual predator. Really? Yeah. Who who was? No, that's what it's about. They were trying to capture one. That's what this season was about, yeah. Gotcha. Well, that sucks. Mm -hmm. Very violent show. Really? From, and that's just from the previews, but his acting... Oh my gosh, his acting is so good. Anything he plays, and even as Peter Vincent in Fright Night, yeah. I thought he was awesome as a little rock star magician. Yeah. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> Who was Vampire Slayer at night? I was like, really? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be Chris Angel. Yeah. 
only with an accent or a, even a British accent. I was like, that's so awesome. This is so cool. Oh my god, I love this movie. <laughs> and then Colin Farrell didn't do too bad as uh, Jerry the vampire. Uh -huh. Jerry's a terrible name for a vampire. That's one of the lines from the movie. I love that because it is a terrible name for a vampire. What's Jerry? <coughs> What's the name of the movie? Fright Night. Oh. You've seen it? Yeah, I have, but I don't remember Colin Firth being in it. Colin Farrell. I don't remember him either. He was Jerry. He was the vampire. <laughs> <laughs> it was the new Fright Night. Not the one you remember from I your know. childhood. I know which one you're talking about. But I still don't... Well, you remember Chekhov, right? As the main kid? Uh -oh. From the Star Trek movies? Wow, you don't yeah, remember... Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, you can't not remember the main kid. Yeah. I, I can not remember the main kids if I want to. No! That's yeah. horrible. Yeah, I'm just saying. You're horrible. <laughs> I'm horrible. <laughs> you gotta remember Colin Farrell! And you gotta remember Anton Yelkin. Who? Anton Yelkin, that's the kid that I just talked about. Oh. He died in a freak accident uh, last year. Oh, that's right. He got he run crushed. over by his own car. While checking the mail. Yeah. He geez. was pinned between his car and the gate, the entrance gate. It must have hit him really hard for him to have died, though. Actually, yeah. Yeah, because they said he died on impact. Yeah. He died immediately. My yes. thing is, for such a horrible way to go, at least he died immediately and didn't have to suffer. Yeah. But he was so young. Yeah. Yeah, he was. He was uh, 26, 27 years old. That's just a baby. Mm-hmm. And he had just filmed the last Star Trek. The latest Star Trek. Wow. Because I remember seeing previews for it, and I was like, wait, how is he in it? He's gone. Yeah. And then I was like, well, duh, they film years in advance. Especially for movies with that high of graphic um, CGI and graphic design content. Yeah. But yeah, he was a good actor. I think he would have made a good older actor eventually, too. Had yeah. he been able to. Yeah. That's sad. Yeah. But I like to... He's not the only one that's died recently. There's no. been a lot of actors who've died. Yeah, um, the father from Home Alone, mm -hmm. he died yesterday at age of 72. That's crazy. Um, of course, we all remember Alan Rickman and David Bowie yeah. last year. Yeah. Yeah, we've lost a lot of people, a lot of celebrities. Yeah. I didn't mean to depress y'all. I like to remember Alan Rickman in Galaxy Quest. Oh, God. And Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves with uh, <laughs> Christian Slater and what's his name? I don't know. The guy who played Robin Hood. Um, there are two, Kevin Costner. Thank you. Yeah, there's two Robin Hoods though. Yeah, there's Prince of Tights and Prince of Thieves. No, there's two Robin Hood movies. Not, uh, not what that tells the same exact story. Oh. And I think Russell Crowe yeah. is yeah. in that one. Well, uh, <laughs> I don't like that one. I like the original one back in the 90s with all the 80s hair. Yeah. They all had 80s hair. I was like, what? And then I remembered, duh. They film movies in advance. This movie was filmed in the 80s. The late 80s, but... An eight, did you see Alan Rickman's hair in that movie? Yes. <laughs> and his cousin, who he's all, at least I didn't kill you, at least I didn't use a spoon when, I, when he killed him. Yeah. I was like, ooh, evil. I love you. <laughs> he played the best villains. Yeah, he did. And oh my goodness, he Hart. did. Yes. Hans Gruber. Yeah. And then you learn later on in Die Hard of, with a Vengeance that he was the brother of Simon, who was played by Jeremy Irons. Yes. Two gorgeous actors. Yeah. And of I course, have Bruce always Willis. liked Jeremy Irons. Jeremy Irons is so awesome. Yeah. Just like Alan Rickman was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
You know who else is a good um, British actor? Who? Bill Nye. Yeah. Victor from Underworld. Yeah. Yeah, I like him. Yeah. Davy Jones. He's played on a lot of movies. Grandma's Best Exotic Marigold Hotel. Yeah. I think he's in that. Pretty sure. I could be wrong. I had coffee. That's why I keep talking. <laughs> okay. Remember that one episode that we did? That we that one episode we shot? We shoot movies now <laughs> and TV shows. No, that one Drea and Drea episode where I just kept saying coffee, 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 coffee. <laughs> and spouting nonsense. That is what this moment is. <laughs> the coffee is good. Mm -hmm. Chocolate creamer. But first, coffee. coffee. That's what that was. I know. Oh. That's very, very popular planner quote. Oh, is it? And meme. Oh. For years. Okay. That's why that one sticker in the new faith planner says, but first God, or but first Jesus. Ah. It's taking the coffee away and putting in faith. Yeah. Which I thought was cool. Hey, we can rip that one off. Too. <laughs> Cut the it. first rip. But first, <laughs> you knew I was gonna do that. Yeah. Cause I was gonna do that, and Mom and I have been ta talking at the same time and saying the same things at the same time every now and then. It's really creepy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't creepy. want. To say the same things as my mother. <laughs> I want it to be individual Drea, not the, not literally the duplicate Drea. Oh but Lord. I'm duplicate Drea, so it's nice to meet you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I have no thoughts of my own. <laughs> oh, how funny. I just went off on a tangent on Doctor Who and Alan Rickman, so. What is our lazy day? Uh. Mondays. Are they Mondays? Yeah. Then Monday it is. Monday, Monday, Monday. Yeah. And we are going shopping on um, Monday. No, Wednesday. That's when we're going shopping on Wednesday. Yeah. Me time, I actually, if you, <clears throat> if you have time to do this for yourself, me time, I do every day from, it's right when I first wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Until she goes to bed late at night, <laughs> no. the next morning. That's her me time. <laughs> when I first wake up, it takes me like three two, hours. three hours to wake up. So that's a part of my me time. And then she sips her cup of coffee really freaking slow. But I can't blame you there. I suck my coffee down, so I'm in reverse. But I used to sip my coffee. And then I noticed that I was falling asleep while drinking it. So I was like, maybe if I chug it, it'll make me wake up. No, it doesn't. It does the opposite. I still fall asleep right after coffee. Yeah. Like this happy hyper Drea, duplicate Drea. Remember that, people. Will <laughs> will fall asleep soon, and I just took a nap. Yeah. I'm like an old person, a really old person. <laughs> Before my grandma smacks me on the head, <laughs> a really, really old person. <laughs> uh, we do have packages coming this week. Woohoo! What do we have? Uh, the last two things to come. One is from Korea Lease. Mm -hmm. I ordered those dies. That's right. And then the other. What is the other one? Oops. Sneak peek, y'all. Sneak peek. Did you see that? Sneak peek. Sneak peek. A sick peek. Snack a peek. Snack a snack. It's a snack. Snack snuggle. All right. She uh, thinks I'm weird. 
our magnets for our cuddle bugs. Yes. Yeah. Hopefully they get here. Yeah, we still haven't gotten those from HSN, so. I don't know. What's up with that? Yeah. If they're not going to send them, they need to just say it. Say it. Yeah, I agree. All right, so this is our week. I like how it turned out. It's pretty. It is pretty. It's it's colorful. It's very colorful. I like this green and blue together yeah. for sure. And uh, then the rest is cute. I like the purple. Yeah. So that's that. <laughs> if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. We'll be happy to answer them for you. Remember to go buy a duplicate Drea when you talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Have a great one. Bye. Bye.